everyone, Garrett here from Tate and Yoko. Thanks for joining us again. We got a great episode. Of course, we're gonna go through our fits. We're gonna talk about what's coming out this Friday, what we have in the warehouse right now. We have some fan mail. Um, we have Terry's pick. We got a few other things and much, much more. So make sure you stick around to the very end. But before we get started, please make sure to like this video. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. All right, we got a lot of stuff to talk about. So we're gonna get started right away. And uh, I'll go first. Uh, with my fit here, if you've been watching for a while, you may be familiar. I have the in situ black watch cap. I'm wearing my shot 618 horse hide. Under I have my uh, gorillas uh, t-shirt. This is uh, from the, um, the Plastic Beach Tour. I'm a big gorillas fan. I have my black buffalo belt. My um, dirty fade true guys. And uh, surprise, surprise, they have been hemmed. So everyone who is saying, keep the stacks, uh, I was just messing with you guys. Um, I did have them stacked for a little while, but I, I couldn't do it any longer. So I had to get them hemmed to the proper length. And uh, I think they look good. They've been washed one time now. And I'm wearing my John, or not John Lofgren, these are Wesco Boss, Mr. Lou in black horse hide to match the horse hide jacket. So that's why I'm wearing Vinny. Last With video. the brimmy. What's good y'all? It's your boy Young Krillin. Um, today we got the beige brimmy because uh, it's a little warmer nowadays. We got the left hand 12 blanket line denim jacket. Word, word, word. And we got the heather gray circular knit tee with the black 7 millimeter thick belt. Mm. And we got the solid blacks with the black Timbs. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> there we go. Come on over, Terry. Okay, all right. So it's me over here with my picture again, following a theme over here. We got the leather here, but I'm gonna start on the bottom like I always do. So uh, today I'm wearing my Altama Maritime Assault boots, shoes, aka the Tactical Chucks. Uh, great for everyday use and comfortable for a driving a manual car. Uh, of course, star of the show today like every day is the king of slump twos in true guy i love these these jeans are like a giant heavy beach towel wrapped around my thighs i love them you love them you're going to see them for a lot longer holding up this majestic you know mound of denim here of course we have the ever-present veg tan seven millimeter belt love it one of our black circular knit t-shirts hiding underneath this cool shot leather jacket over here. I got the uh, cowhide model because I'm not as tough as some other people around here, but cowhide's quite nice if you're not into, um, you know, the super, super, super heavyweights. I got plenty of heavyweights around my thighs. What's this the is, number on that one? I'm not 100% sure. The 141 or something? I think it is the one for one, yes. So it is basically, this is the shot uh, cafe racer and the relaxed, more relaxed fit with the uh, cowhide uh, construction. Okay, but biggest change over here, went through some bit of a lightweight therapy over here. My mane has been tamed thanks to our resident barber, which you'll see shortly. So thank you very much, taming the mane. Speaking of which, come on over here. This mane tamer extraordinaire, you know him, you love him, Mr. Vincent. C'est moi, Vincent. That's the number one part of the fit check right here coffee in the milk glass right here you can see i have the kimono shirt an indigo waffle that we did uh maybe a year or two ago real nice i got an xl so we can have a little bit of a oversized fit not tied too tight because i don't want to be that guy um, i have a cream shirt under just some random blank i found at the thrift store i have the seven millimeter thick brown belt to answer the comment of someone who asked, some I, I saw it. Yes, everyone does wear thick brown belts here. Um, not we don't me. really, oh, well, not really Garrett, but sometimes Garrett. I wear thick belts, but not brown. Yeah, well, I, well, we all have the thick belts, regardless. That's true. Um, I have the natural indigo selvage, uh, groovy guys, the classic Sam Beezies, and um, I did cut Terry's hair. This is true. I am a barber. Um, and now we got my boy Max next. My boy Max. If 
by the by the mugs by the mugs <laughs> hello everybody yeah i got the naked and famous collab uh, with upstate stock uh, beanie made from recycled salvage uh, for jacket i got the 641 uh, the shot 641 horse hide in size 40. i got the super guy elephant 9 wild blue so it is natural indigo uh, holding with the seven millimeter uh, brown belt and down bum we got the vans uh, brown vans and uh, no yeah. that's old that's, school it's not true it's not vans it looks like vans <gasps> but yeah they're made in a basement in pakistan i guess <laughs> 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 no, they really look real though, like even underneath, I mean, Let's inside you can see bands. Show, show us the bottom. Oh, so it has the waffle yeah. um, the grip. Okay. How do you know they're not real? Uh, it doesn't have the tag at the back. I can show you. It even show like vans inside, but it's suspicious. It's here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Defo. Can you see that? Alufa Koku. Interesting. <laughs> Maybe not Pakistan, but anyway. <laughs> Same thing. That's it. Not made where it's supposed to be made. I like it though. <laughs> All right, Terry, warehouse update time. Okay, so remember, welcome to another lovely week here at Tap and Yoko. You've had a little introductions. So I'm just going to talk a little bit about what's new and hot and spicy over here at the Tappy Warehouse. So you know we've done all of our renovations and I told you it's because we're getting new stock in and we are getting new stock over here. We have this mountain of shirts. So what this means is that coming up uh, for this week, we are already have released by the time you watch this video, a lot of the uh, new spring summer 24 tops. So we're talking over shirts. We're talking easy shirts. Uh, we're gonna have some lower shirts. And plus, we got a special sparkly blast from the past that has also found a little home to nestle in amongst the shelves over here. That's coming back for all the crazy mega fans out there. You know you are there. So we got some new tops coming in. Definitely check out our tops. We're going to be talking a lot more about that soon. Um, but moving onwards from the uh, warehouse updates over here, I just want to remind everyone that, hey, don't forget to like and subscribe. There's always time to like and subscribe. Uh, yes, that's right. Subscribe, subscribing, liking, and also writing comments definitely helps us out grow as a channel and you know everyone can engage as a community and we love doing that. So let's talk about the upcoming releases for this Friday. This Friday we have the new left hand twill sky blue. So it's the left hand twill that you know and love that we've been uh, selling for over 10 years for, for a very, very long, long, long time. And uh, now we have it in this beautiful sky blue edition. So a nice light blue, great for summertime. I will say a lot of people, they wait too long to grab these. So don't wait till it's summertime. Don't wait till, uh, you know, the June, August time because they're gonna be all sold out. There's gonna be dropping this Friday. We have the super guy, weird guy, true guy, easy guy coming this Friday. And then we also have, I think it's the classic and the arrow coming later so the women's fits are gonna be coming later but the men is the men's are gonna be dropping this friday so definitely look out for that i think it's a really nice jean and uh, great for summertime but still you know that classic 13.75 ounce so definitely check those guys out and then we got something very special so a long long time ago talking like 10 years ago we made a special run of jackets and pants for Barney's which no longer exists anymore and a while ago we were looking through the warehouse and we ended up finding a box of these jackets kind of lying around so this is the hologram jacket back again once again it's your last chance to grab one of these me and Justin we did some beautiful photos outside there yesterday. I'm gonna be posting those on the Tate Nyoko Instagram, so make sure you follow at Tate Nyoko to go see those photos. And man, as soon as we walked out the door, all eyes were on uh, Mr. Justin. He was attracting a lot of attention, and you can see why. Just look at how shiny and reflective it is. And it's even better in the sunshine. You get like a rainbow patterns. It's almost blindingly bright. So we have just a few of these, like one box, I think there's, you know, a handful of smalls, mediums, larges, and one double XL. 
So if you're interested in this really cool piece, this collector's item of Nick and Famous Denim history, we are going to be dropping these as well on Friday. So definitely... Um, if you want to shine bright like a diamond, this is your jacket. <laughs> yes. Yes, this is a very special piece. And uh, oh, I guess I should say one more thing. Uh, it is a different cut than our current jackets. Um, it is a slimmer cut. You can see it's got more buttons on the front and there is no hand warmer pockets. So it's it's an older style of jacket, obviously, because this is old stock. Um, but yeah, very cool, very interesting. And uh, it is actual denim. It's denim coated in the hollow uh, hologram foil. So it will eventually kind of crack off and fade and you will see the, the, the denim underneath if you wear it enough. I mean, you have to wear it quite a bit. And uh, we'll see if anyone's gonna be wearing it that much. But yeah, a very cool piece. It's gonna be dropping this Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern time on the website. So Terry, show me what we have in the warehouse right now that's right on now. the site right this second. All right, so right off the top, top from over here, we actually have some of these new Easy shirts. All right, so we're releasing Easy shirts every season and we always let's, like to shake up the pattern. Let's take them out of the bags. So uh, that's absolutely right. So just like our jeans, you might, uh, you may or may not know this, our easy shirts are all made with the finest of fabrics imported straight from Japan there. So I know uh, a lovely brand in Bayes and Reese that spend a lot of time over there choosing out only the best for us there. And they are made right here in Canada over here. So we got some of these lovely new fabrics. Uh, I just want to show off these here on our lovely nice new table. Easy shirts, we got some of these coming back. We also have, because it's summer, basically over here in Montreal, like winter just <laughs> rolled up and died. I'm very upset about this. <laughs> um, a lower shirts, that's right, for a lower shirts, we also have our lower shirts are back. And this time we have this really, really cool retro pattern over here coming in kind of like a greener and a lighter version of the same style. So we have some easy shirts with the button down collars and we have these nice new, uh, we changed the fit last year, so a bit looser, a little boxier there for really kind of just like airing out there on those sunny days right in early March. <laughs> yes. That's right over here. So I also want to talk about, uh, speaking of new patterns over here, we have this really, really cool Japanese heritage. I think this is the Slub Sashiko Kimono shirt. Now I saw Justin modeling this the other day for photo and he's looking pretty fine wearing this. I want to kind of show Vinny see the, uh, the details over here. So he does some really, really cool stitch job over here. So when you're wearing the kimono shirt like uh, Vincent was wearing before, this is actually quite a large oh, canvas. Sick. A really quite a large canvas to show off some gnarly fabric and this is like some of the craziest out there i really like this type of fabric i think it's tons of texture and detail and character so you can walk this around you know where it's at home where it's outside over something or maybe even just next to the skin <laughs> just next to the skin we don't tell you what you can or can't do we just give you some ideas you know we're just giving some inspiration over here and special attention here to the over shirts over here again like the kimono shirt this has had a little bit of a fit update this is no longer the work shirt this is now the over shirt so, all right so we have this talk about the uh pattern first and then i'll go into the fit so over here uh look at this nice fabric this is actually a double a layer here so it has kind of like this nice backing i just want to show off over here look at that nice backing over here it's kind of like a different clearly a different fabric this is like this lovely but nice super coarse retro design is coming in several colorways. We have over here the green, we also have a beige as well. Let's see if I can just kind of like show this one off side by side right over here. So while you guys look at these cool fabrics, I just want to talk about a bit of the design philosophy behind these over shirts. You may know that they fit differently. That is deliberate. It's not accidental. Uh, these were designed to kind of fit over. They're for layering. So if you're buying like your normal tag size, this would look fantastic over a like hoodie, for example. That's definitely a fit that Mr. Bezat loves a lot. Or size down, have it a little bit shorter. But they're definitely, imagine this more kind of like a shirt jacket to act as a layer of armor or over whatever you may be wearing. Mm -hmm. A layer of stylish armor. Yeah. And if you just want to wear it with your t-shirt, then size down one size from your normal size. So these I'm going to are... be posting some photos of Justin that we shot the other day. He looks really good in this and I was, I was quite happy with the results. So again, go check out at Tatanyoko on Instagram. And right. then what was the last, last little thing we got into the warehouse here that's Leather available goods. right now? Leather goods. 
talk about some leather goods over here. So uh, last week was all about the B-Seal. Let's say you bought that B-Seal, but you're looking for something to put it on. Well, we actually have here a collection of leather goods. So we have uh, these lovely keychains. We call this the Vincent pattern. <laughs> It's a pen. This is a nice little one there. It is a piece of a bench tan with a belt hook on it. We have the card holder. Let's do a little before and after. Yeah, every, everyone's got a little before and after on the card holders. Here's mine. Uh, this could be yours. This is Garrett's. No, that's not mine. That's, oh, no? Whose is that? This, Vincent's? This one's mine. Yeah, yeah. All right, the turgid one is Vincent's. A bit more respectable and decent ones. And everyone's a little bit different. Mine's more pair. caramelly. I don't know yeah. how's your, how did yours become that color? Because, you know, I just use my wallet. Did you condition it though? <laughs> no, I did not. I conditioned it with the B-Seal actually after the video. It's the first time I ever conditioned it. Every other time I just kind of get my sweaty hands in there and just rub it. All right, so more B-Seal for Vincent then. <laughs> oh man. Yes. Key let's oh, let's not show the keys. No, the oh. keys are <laughs> there we go. But look at that. Over, you can see it gets like really dark. Hey, Ooh. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that before and after. That's That's insane. It's almost black. This is the same leather, people. This is not a different color, but yeah. it's a pattern. It's exactly the same. This is very much a before and after journey of patina. So yes, we're having more of these. Of course, we also have the knife knife sheaves over here. Again, in this kind of a veg tan construction. Of course, these are the thinner sheaves. They won't really fit the kind of thick wood handles that we've just released, but they will fit our classic thin metal ones. Uh, and watch this space, you know? There's always something happening in terms of knives, so. Those sheaves are be back along with our little lighter holders, which have never gone away. We always have these if you want to keep your little uh, smoking accessories wrapped up and enrobed in a soft yet firm leather armor. Okay, great. All right. We got, we got one more um, little batch of things to show off, but I, you know what we forgot to talk about in the warehouse update? What did we forget to talk about? Oh yeah, old Bessie over here. Check this out. Yes, absolutely. We're all <laughs> onwards and upwards. Goodbye, 1970s veneer. Hello, luxurious brindle bovine. Um, this over here is Bessie. Uh, we think our lovely little presenting table deserved a Look little bit of uh, an upgrade there. Look at that contrast. Mm -hmm. And we think these nice get, lovely Get a close up on that. There Can we you go. focus? Good try. You can use the zoom function. Oh yeah. See that, that texture. Yeah, so there's a little bit, definitely been a bit of upgrade uh, in our uh, production over here. This lovely new product, a demonstration table has now been enrobed, beautifully enrobed in a soft, soft, magnificent brindle hide. And we love it. We love it, it's kind of me. That's why we're all wearing a leather here today. We're feeling very leathery today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm wearing leather because it's warm outside. It's like finally warm enough in Montreal that we can get away with wearing a leather jacket um, outside at least because normally when it's like negative five, this jacket is not really enough. But once it gets up into the like between zero and 10 degrees Celsius, it's like perfect leather jacket wearing leather. It is leather weather now over here in Montreal. Uh Despite my sadness of the warmth, I'm also happy to break out my own very personal leather jacket and get some nice miles on it. All right, next. Here we go. We have Vincent. What else do we have in the warehouse that's new? I just want to say rest in beef for this poor <laughs> cow. Okay. I, it took me a good five minutes to think of that. Um, so we have, as you know, I'm the Raised by Wolves man here. I love it. It's great. So we got... What is Raised by Wolves? Oh, it is a friend of ours, um, a fellow brand from Vancouver, Canada. Toronto. Toronto. No, they're uh, from Ottawa. 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 Ontario. Someone Ontario. Ontario. told me Vancouver. I am completely wrong. It, uh, from Canada. <laughs> um, anyways, great guys. Great things that they do. Their blanket was the greatest thing ever. Um, I wasn't allowed to buy it. So we have to sell it instead of Vince buying it. Um, we have two great shorts here. We got Digicam, we got Black. I know more about the products than the brand apparently. Set times over here. This is great, this is Cotton Ripstop. Do you know anything about Ripstop? It's in the name. Stops, rips. Where's the tape? Is this just sealed? Well, it's just sealed. I ripped that bag open. Whoever gets that, lucky you. Pre-opened. Um, so, yeah, exactly. <laughs> It's been the stress. So we have the ripsaw pants. You got the 
stretchy waistband and we have the snap cell phone pocket here with the raised by wolves tag real cool real nice um, i like it so like theoretically if like let's say you know you have an ice pick through your shorts hopefully not um it shouldn't rip any further than where it has punctured which is really cool about ripstop and um yeah even the pocket is ripstop which is really really awesome that's in the black and or this is in the di digi camo and then we have it in the black here i'll probably be wearing these honestly these are more my more my speed same thing stretchy ripstop black cell phone pocket and the tag once again it's got side pockets though right too yes yeah. well hand pockets what about butt pockets no yeah butt no pockets? It, has, it has a butt pocket as well okay. yeah but you look at this imagine me no pants i mean with the shorts instead not not just no pants <laughs> with the shorts instead here we are dude this could be what a vibe. size are those dude those are big well they're extra large so that oh, makes okay. sense but imagine just throwing these over the pants <laughs> you can rock waves by, raised by wolves and figure denim just saying keep it cool all right we have two shirts also great for the summer um to go with your shorts we have the champion sound t-shirt 200 gsm over here real cool design you know we got some speaker action going on we got that Real tight collar, fit around your neck. I have um, another one of these shirts. It's the Have a Nice Trip t-shirt. I think that one's amazing. I love it. And if you flip it over, oh, back-to-back -back graphics, baby. Raised by Wolves, champion sound design. Great white color, summer. It's keeping you cool because you're not absorbing all of that sun. Pick it up here with us. I'm loving it. I'll probably have one. And I'll give you guys about 48 hours to get that XL or I'm buying it. So just keeping it real with you all. Then we have the Seeds of Rebellion t-shirt. This one is really, really cool. You just have the chest hit on the left here, raised by wolves in this cool font. Almost looks like it's hand drawn. You have that same color, still 200 GSM for the blank. And then if you flip it over, look at that. Dandelions, Seeds of Rebellion, Roots of uh, Revolution. I almost forgot how to read. I like it. I like the champion sound more, but still very cool nonetheless. Great summer shirt. Imagine you, you're at the park, you know, just hanging out. The lady's gonna look at you like, that's the guy. Be that guy. Raised by wolves. No, we have the... Your favorite. I just actually my favorite. I do love these. This is the Snap Hoodies. Okay? So this was uh, dead stock. Cotton. Jer uh, fleece, not jersey. With the contrasting waistband and... Um, what do you call it here? Wrist cuffs? Wristband? Cuffs? I'm going to say cuffs. Ribbing? It, ribbing? Yes. Look at this, you have one in the, both Heather Gray, but one's a little bit darker than the other. You have the contrasting, this one's really, really cool. Um, and you got the embroidery on the hood. And look, look how thick this hood is, man. It's really amazing. And what's really cool about these snap hoodies is that usually like if you're, if you close a hoodie, right? It like closes your face like this, but when you fasten all the snaps, your face still shows out. It doesn't crunch your glasses. It doesn't crunch your hat. Really, really cool. Super heavy. I'll probably buy this one actually after this. But yeah, it's really, really cool. Giving it a vintage look. Um, same thing here. We got the two snaps. One, two. Embroidery right there. Got the contrasting color for that vintage look. Almost giving the same vibe as like... Um, like an after hood for all of you that know. Look at this. Get it now. It's spring. It's cold. This is for you. Hoodies for all year. Yeah. No, well, bro, it's summertime. You know, it gets pretty hot out here. It gets pretty cold in our office. That is true. Blasting. That is true. You'll probably see me wearing this in the summer. 
Don't question me, please. And then we have the special one. This right here is the, you ready? Oh, wrong way. The Polar, Polar Tech Thermal Pro. It's a premium fleece, right? All black snaps, super comfy. Here, I would open that one, but there we go. Look at that, same tag. But what's cool about this one is it's all black. You have a tag here and you have the Polar Tech here. This is surely to keep you warm. If you ever thought you were cold, you don't have to think again. You'll never be. This is it. It's, it's similar to the black one I have, but it's like, you know, it's a classic fleece that you, that, that you get, you know, for the fall and stuff like that. I would get this as soon as possible. Don't sleep because it will be gone before you can even think about buying it. So as soon as you see it or this video, buy it immediately. <laughs> Where's my... Where's my coffee? Anyways. Oh, it's right here. I just didn't want you to get anything wet. No. Only thing that's getting wet is my back because I'm sweating. But um, look at this, guys. Imagine you're walking down the street. Keep your warm coffee. Your warm sweater. Get the glass. Get the mug. All right. Well, thank you very much, Vincent, for that informative present presentation from our friends uh, at Raised by Wolves, a fantastic company from Ottawa in Canada. <laughs> all right, I just wanna take this moment now to thank uh, all of our loyal fans, viewers, and commenters there. Uh, there's a lot of love that always goes into the comments, especially if it's on Instagram, if it's on YouTube, if it's uh, in the order comments there. And like, we really do appreciate this. Uh, we love seeing this, we love this engagement. And um, sometimes it really just heartwarming. So I just wanna say a big thank you from us to you. Which brings me to the next section over here. I wanna talk about the pick of the day, which from last week, you remember the word, it was pen, Tech, uh, Pantechnion, Pantech. <laughs> I got it right over here, Pantechnicon. All right, which I didn't actually know, but some helpful Australian uh, clients and customers let us know that's actually a bit of a common everyday term down in Australia for like a moving truck, the Pantech. So leave it to the Aussies to kind of make a big word a lot smaller and funnier. Thank you very much for that Isn't one. Me? But today's winner over here is uh, JC from Ottawa and JC definitely has a big definition here. It's a British noun, a large van for transporting furniture. That is correct. So JC from Ottawa, we have your order right over here. I'm gonna talk about it over here. JC, you got a cool easy shirt. That's right, we do sell easy shirts every day. Don't forget the easy shirts. And we got one of our cool valet trays in bench tan, great leather product. And he got some diesel. Got some bee seal. We just talked about that the other day. So we're gonna put bee seal. I'm sure you can put bee seal all over his veg tan tray. And because of that, we're gonna throw in this lovely, cool, uh, naked and famous tote bag. The only way to get it is to win the special prize. And of course, this little keychain. So the only way to get the keychain is to leave a comment in the order section of your order. So just write the word of the week in your comment section. And no matter what, you'll get a little keychain, a couple of stickers, maybe a friendly note, a smooch from Vinny. Something like that. <laughs> uh, you know, we get all kinds of requests and we do our best to oblige and basically just warms our heart to see the messages of support and just some friendliness come through from like, you know, denim lovers all over the world. So thank you very much. And JC in Ottawa, I do hope you enjoy these. We're gonna send these off to you right away. And all right. this on one last next thing. Exciting section. Yes. So thank you everyone in uh, last week's video who commented down below and voted for the gene that they want to see the fade review on. We have that episode coming shortly. We'll probably record it right after this. And uh, so for the next week, I have three more genes to show you and you can vote on them down below in the comments. So first one, I was kind of inspired because recently we had the King of Slub 2 release. This is the King of Slub 1 faded. Uh, so that's the first option. So if you want to see the fade review for the King of Slub, original put that down in the comments we have this really cool gray well maybe it was black to start with gray faded pair let's see what the name of this one is in here this is the charcoal selvage so if you want to see the charcoal selvage there's a little preview of the front and the back put down charcoal selvage in the comments and then lastly this one i saw on the fade wall and i I picked it up, it was a little bit of a mystery. 
but I looked very, very closely at the label. It's almost impossible to read because it's pretty much all worn and washed off, but if you look super closely, I'm pretty sure it says low tension something. So probably low tension weave or low tension denim, something like that. It's an older pair. So if you want to see the fade review for the low tension, put that down in the comments section below. And then that will be the next jean we do a fade review for. All right, I think that about wraps it up. Terry, are you gonna send them home? Yes, that's right. I'm gonna send you guys right home, right to the very end. So this is how it works. A big thank you to everyone who's watched the video up to now. And we're gonna talk about the word of the week for this upcoming week. So the word is benthic. I repeat, the word is benthic. That is the word of the week. Put that in the comment section of your next order and you will receive a little keychain from us and be entered to win a cool little prize. You never know what might be. All kinds of surprises. So, uh, as always, we got a release coming up this Friday, the Left Hand Twill Sky Blue and the Hologram Jacket. Please check them out. And as always, don't forget, we have the live stream with Bayza and Risa at 7 p.m. Eastern Time every week. Check them out. And from us to you, it's a big thank you for watching this video. Thank you, and stay happy. Look after each other. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Ciao now.